Hi folks, Simon here. Welcome to another Final Fantasy VIII guide video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get the Siren card and also why you might want to refine it. To begin, I want to give a shout out to Laura who has signed up as our latest patron for the channel. So thank you so much for your support, Laura, and to all of my patrons and YouTube members. Now the Siren card can be collected in Dolit if you enter the pub area. Before you do this, you'll need to have made sure that you've abolished the random rule from Dolit, otherwise playing cards will be a nuisance. So check out my Queen of Cards videos which I'll leave links to in the description in order to show you how you can do that yourself and once you've got yourself set up so that you can actually win card games here in Dolit you'll want to speak to this guy wearing the brownish yellowish jacket over by the table here the card table on the left hand side of the screen and he's not particularly a challenging player so you'll just want to play him and beat him and then once you've done that you'll be able to kick him out into showing you where the secret room is now, I'm honestly not sure whether or not it's possible for this guy to play the Siren card during this first game with him while he's still out here in the pub. So if he does play it for you at this point, please do let me know. I'd be interested in finding that out. Uh, but every time I've played him here, he doesn't play the Siren card. So I suspect he can't. So we'll quickly go ahead and beat him. By this point, he should just be a formality so long as you've got a whole bunch of, you know, other rare cards and what have you. Okay, so once we've gone ahead and finished that, we get a little bit of dialogue from him and then he tells us he's going to visit his private room and he welcomes us to join him along. Now, there's actually a couple of things we can do in his private room uh, and I'm just going to go over those with you as well. A little bit of a bonus to the video. Uh, but first of all, perhaps most importantly, is the fact that we can play him and again, of course, and this time he is very likely to play the Siren card. Uh, but before we do that, if we just speak to him normally, he'll give us a collection of pretty terrible cards. But hey, they're free, so it kind of makes sense to take them. Uh, the Cat to our card isn't too bad, but you might already have a few of those if you've been card farming from other players. Now, when you actually battle this guy, although the, most of his cards are quite weak, as you just saw in that previous card game, the Siren card is quite strong, so don't take things for granted here. If you can take it early on, then that's probably the best thing to do, to tell you the truth. Even though most games, you are going to be playing quite defensively for the best chance of winning. But as you can see, Zell card is the perfect combo in this particular case, since he can't take it, even with its weak five on the right-hand side. And so it was fairly simple to actually grab this card uh, and pretty much every other card that he played here, even with the difference rule as opposed to the all rule. And there we have it. There's the Siren card. Now, I did say there was a bonus thing I wanted to show you as well in this particular secret room. The pile of magazine that is closest to the door can actually give the occult fan two, as you just saw there. In fact, you can get three items each time you're in this room from this magazine pile. So just keep spamming the talk button next to it. And if you don't get the occult fan two after the third item is looted, then just leave the room and then enter immediately and keep repeating the process until you do get that item. One thing worth noting as well about the Siren card, guys, uh, if you're not actually going to play it, you can go ahead and just refine it. And the reason for that is it will give you uh, three status attacks. Now, status attacks are really nice abilities for your Guardian Forces. And at this stage in the game, only Siren is going to have it. So only one party member will have the status, effect, uh, status attack effect active. So what you can do then is give this to some of your other... Uh, guardian forces here so that each of the three characters can then attack enemies with physical attacks that inflict statuses now don't worry so much about refining rare cards because you can get them back later on on disc 4 but obviously if they're cards that you actively play in order to win card games then you might want to consider not playing them but like the siren card for example i'm just never really going to play it in battle because i've already got a nice little system set up with my current rare cards so i've got no qualms in just uh, refining that into three status attacks and and then we'll recollect it again later. Anyway guys, I hope the video has been helpful to you. If it has, please don't forget to drop a like. And do come back soon as we continue on with more of the Final Fantasy VIII guide. Have a great day. See you then. Well, thank you so much for stopping by checking out the video today. Now, perhaps you might consider becoming a YouTube channel member. Doing so not only supports me as a creator, but it also bestows upon you certain cool bonuses, such as the ability to have your name stand out in YouTube comments and live stream chats, as well as having yourself credited in every future upload that I do. If that sounds interesting, check out the join button, which you can find just below if watching on PC.